rom-coms, I don't know, I mean, there's, there's some good rom-coms out there when Harry met Sally, you know, when she was going, ah, ah. Why do you hate rom-coms? Who? That's a fucking generalization. Wow, that's a rather strange way to start off your video. Certainly not going to win me over, hon. Um, I I'm the movie guy. Should, should I go with this one? You, you go with it. Why the fuck do you care? I don't hate rom-coms, but I do hate you, Ling Ling. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you haven't spent much time around men, because you look like one. Why are you dressed like Justin Bieber? What are you, 12? I don't even know what rom-coms is. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What the heck is a rom-com? Everybody I loves rom-coms. I had no idea what they are talking about. What kind of convention? That was my week because I had no fucking idea what that was. I had to look up what a rom-con was. And to be honest, when you said rom-com, I didn't know what the f*** that was. Edit that out. I had to call my producer. <laughs> he had to explain it to me. First of all, I had to look up the stupid bullshit term you used because you're too lazy to say romantic comedy. That fascinated me. Okay, so rom-coms. This is, uh, I guess, romantic comedies? I'm assuming. I'm not up to the slang these days. Uh, uh. By rom-com, I'm going to assume that it means romantic comedy. Please let it mean romantic comedy so I don't sound really stupid right now. Oh, romantic comedies! No, man, I like romantic comedies! You know, at first I didn't know what she was talking about, but then I realized romantic comedies. So, I searched this up before, but rom-coms are romance comedies for those who didn't know, like I didn't know. I don't hate rom-coms, I hate people that refer to romantic comedies as rom-coms. Rom-coms, I guess it's like romantic, romantic comedies? Okay, so rom-coms, I actually didn't know what it was at first until, uh, Justin told me, romantic comedies. For some reason I didn't put those two together. A woman has to get out of her own ass to be happy with a nigga who was there the whole time. That's the plot of almost every romantic comedy ever. Because a man sacrifices everything for the chance. Boy meets girl, silly shit happens, bad comedy ensues, mild disaster comes close to occurring in the start of the third act, where there will be a contrived misunderstanding that causes the couple to break up, they make up by the, by the, by the five minute mark, they live happily ever after, no tits. Uh, uh. There, I just described for you the plot of every single romantic comedy that has ever been or there will ever be. If that sounded like a creativity crushing, idiotic, saccharine, obnoxious pile of bullshit that could only appeal to the most mind devoid, sexless, perpetually alone women who wouldn't know what to do with a real relationship if it waved its willy in their direction, then you have your answer. Boy meets girl. Girl doesn't like boy. Boy has to figure out a way to get girl to like him. It doesn't work. Um, boy gives up. Girl will, uh, for some reason, see him as appealing after that. Men hate romantic comedies for the same reason you hate video games with over-sexualized female characters. The men in these movies are always willing to sacrifice their careers, their dreams, and even their lives to win the lead female's affection. Now, I don't have any empirical data to back this up, but it seems to me that romantic comedies and romance movies in general cause women to have unrealistic expectations of men and what love should be like, and these become the expectations that men have to live up to, and it's unfair. Uh, uh. Feminists like to bitch about poor representation of women in media intended for men because they promote body image issues and shit like that, and I agree to at least an extent, but it's not any better for men when we're expected to be Prince Charming, 
ready and willing to sacrifice ourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally, and we're called selfish for daring to have our own desires, or even misogynistic for daring to draw attention to our own problems. These movies appeal to the female fantasy of having a knight in shining armor swear their entire existence to pleasing them, and thus reinforce these notions within their target audience of women like you that you somehow deserve and should expect to have your boyfriends and husbands give up everything that makes them who they are and basically dehumanize themselves for your pleasure and devote 100% of their time and energy to you. The fact that some of you watching this are scoffing at what I just said only proves my point. You have fooled yourselves into thinking that I'm somehow the one who's being selfish when I object to the notion that men should be expected to cave into all of your demands for the sake of your perverted, idealistic conception of love. And I have no doubts that some of you will accuse me of being bitter at some ex-girlfriend for saying that, but I'm not, and I will preemptively characterize such an argument as an outcropping of the very mentality that I'm talking about. You expect all of your demands to be catered to, and any man who is unwilling or unable to cater to them must have something wrong with them. <laughs> Us men are human beings with our own interests and goals, and it's selfish for you to expect us to give all that up for you. But these movies condition you to expect exactly that. And that is why we hate romantic comedies. We don't see anything romantic about them. What we see is the reinforcement of unfair and unreasonable expectations about what we should be doing with our own lives. Everybody needs to hate rom-coms, even you. What else can you blame for the amplifications of your delusions? Well, rom-coms are just as predictable as modern-day feminist arguments. If you have watched the New Year's Eve or another shitty movie like Valentine's Day, you wouldn't be so accepting in, of these sorts of crappy rom-coms. They're just becoming cliched shit and pandering heavily to their target audience. Yeah. Uh, excuse me? I'm not a girl. But, um, why do I hate rom-coms so much? Is, is it expected of me to hate rom-coms? Personally, I don't really give a shit what's expected of me because I like what I like. And if people don't like what I like, then whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't like rom-coms, by the way. I find them rather vapid and boring most of the time. A lot of the same tropes are repeated over and over again. And I know that people like this, and this is what appeals to a certain demographic. It's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> okay, one. We don't like rom-coms because we can. Two, the reason why we don't like rom-coms is because they're the same overused plot. A love triangle. The man losing everything just for the woman. It's pretty simple. Not everyone likes simplistic shit. I and other dudes don't hate romantic comedies. We just hate bad romantic comedies, which, statistically speaking, is 7 out of 10. When you put on Harry Met Sally uh, uh, or Moonstruck, hell, I'll make the popcorn for you. That's some good shit right there. Snap out of it! I'm not a fan of um the romantic movies. Twilight makes me want to throw up. Nobody has to really like what you like, so why should it matter if guys like romantic comedies when some girls don't even like romantic comedies? Uh don't necessarily hate rom-coms. They're not my favorite. Because they're boring? I don't know. Well, anyway, I actually do have a favorite romantic comedy. My favorite romantic comedy is The Boy in His Striped Pajamas. Uh, uh, That's a joke! Before you, before you guys get really offended by it, alright? It's a joke. Alright? Joke. We don't like these movies because all they are are just a whole bunch of girls that get this guy that just e does everything for her, risks his life, his job, everything that he has, and we don't want a, a girl, our girlfriend, or or wife, or any of that to be expecting us to be something like that. We're talking about a boring and kind of false misrepresentation of men in relationships, right? I just can't relate to it. There are good rom cons and there are bad rom cons, and pretty much everyone is going to admit that. I don't like uh, I don't like the storyline of romantic movies or series. That that's just it. I don't even really like television or movies. I hate them because they suck balls. Because they're terrible movies. No, this is a myth, okay? Well, generally. I like things that go bang. I I like Dear John. I like big pretty explosions. And step up. I like guns. And the vow. I like people who fucking beat the shit out of other people. Now you may see there's a train that Channing Tatum's on. I like people who say fuck every now and then. That's because he's a fucking great actor. I like 
all sorts of other shit that's not fucking soppy ass fucking women crap. No, I don't hear romantic comedy. It's just something I am not interested in. I already know this. I don't need to see the fucking movie to figure that out. Sometimes I'll sit and I'll watch one. Rom-coms, romantic comedies. You cunts don't seem to think that I'm a romantic cunt anyway, so why the fuck would I be interested in that kind of shit? Never on my own. Not on my own, no. People don't invite me to weddings because they just assume that I don't want to go. Definitely with other girls in the room. Oh, he doesn't want to go. Don't bother inviting him. Just put him right at the back and tell him not to drink anything. Quite like three weddings and a funeral. Or is it four weddings and a funeral? Um, and I like Notting Hill. I quite like Notting Hill. And I quite like Sleepless in Seattle. Uh, rom-coms? Oh, not my... F I think they used to be good. There used to be a lot of good rom-coms, but they've gone a bit rubbish in recent years. Let us do the research. I found an article from Phoenix New Times about how romantic comedies are dead in Western society. It gives some reasons. For example. 1. Teenagers. Teenagers don't care about romance. They prefer actions for their hormone-fueled angst. This I can agree with. <coughs> 2. Men. Men don't really like romantic comedies, and if they do, they don't want to admit it. This makes no sense. I'm assuming they are speaking about straight men, but even then we can go into the masculine mind and pick out what we need. Uh, uh. The masculine mind is logically inclined, deciding what is best, and worst. In a worst case scenario, a man will take his girlfriend or wife to a rom-com, and she might find him lacking in comparison to the fictional and unrealistic expectations. Uh, uh. However the same might be said if the couple saw an action movie. The woman could see the superhuman main character, and see her partner as lacking. So, with this logic in mind I do not think it matters what movie the man sees. I am certain there are as many men who like romantic comedies as there are women. Problem is that women don't like them either. Women have been growing more and more masculine in thoughts every generation in recent. They are starting to see the illogic behind the cut and paste scripts of rom-coms. They're boring, uncreative, and unrealistic. They do not give the dopamine high that humans enjoy, for they give no suspense or excitement. Because they're boring, boring, pedantic, shallow excuses for theater. They're boring, contrived, not funny, they appeal to the lowest common denominator, they're right up your alley, so enjoy them. The reason we hate them is because we find them boring, and stupid, and dumb. Because they're not funny to me, that's why. Uh, because they're shit? It's because it's the same thing over and over again. The only one I did find interesting was where that one guy could travel through time, but... The rest of the film was terrible. Some of them are pretty good, like Hitch. It's lazy sex. Lazy right. sex, eh? Romantic comedies just aren't for most guys. I... I don't have a problem with romantic comedies. I don't. Mm, I don't hate rom-coms. I don't love naked. We don't. They're just not targeted towards us as a gender. And also they give huge unrealistic expectations to women about romance and men in general. Newsflash, people have preferences. To hate something must first imply that I care. I don't. I don't hate rom-coms. I have a certain level of ambivalence to them. I.e. I don't really care for them that much, one way or the other. Why would I sit there and laugh at a couple on the screen when I could be having my own fun time with somebody that I'm with in real life. I'd much rather go and have a romantic experience on my own instead of watching it. My favorite porn is the funny ones! What are you talking about? Unless we're talking about porn, because, whoa, well, porn is sacred. Uh, dinner for Schmucks, uh, that is, believe it or not, that would be considered a rom-com. It's, it's a very goofy one, and I am quite a fan of goofy comedies, but at the end of the day, it's still considered a rom-com. Actually, one of my favorite movies is a movie called Love Actually. I don't know, just 
depends on the guy, I guess. I don't really hate rom-coms at all. Um, they can be pretty good, actually. So, me personally, I don't have a problem with it. I like rom-coms. I'm just very picky about them. Matter of fact, not even rom-coms. Movies in general, I'm very picky about. I love romantic comedy. I don't hate rom-coms. Some of my favorite films are romantic comedies. I do like some. I do like well-directed ones. Okay, not all of them. A lot of the modern ones are really shitty and they follow the same plot over and over and over again. But I don't know, I grew up watching like musicals and things and like, you know, Grease, which is kind of comedic and... Yeah, I, I, I like some, you know, romance and comedy. They just can't be shit. To put every single man into a box of hating a specific thing uh, uh. is no less sexist than if, if a man were to say that all women love to be housewives. Not all women like them. So what does men not liking them have to do with anything either? Hell, girls don't like some of them. Some girls don't even, some women do not like rom-coms. Why do you like rom-coms? They clearly perpetuate misogynistic stereotypes. Or do you just feel like you need to like them? Do you feel the need to like romantic comedies? Are you socially conditioned to like romantic comedies? Do you consider 1995's, um, Forget Paris to be a rom-com? Or a sports comp. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was a good rom com, wasn't it? I don't hate them all. <laughs>